Viva Pinata official video game spokesperson auditions take one. Get set for Viva Pinata! An ever changing world full of endless possibilities because this is a world where you get to call the shots. The pinata creatures and plant life that inhabit this land are all determined by you. Our story begins at a small garden that in its heyday was full of life. Mmm, heyday? That sounds delicious. <laughs> anyway. Though now a bit run down, with a little care and consideration, you can restore this spot back to its heyday. <laughs> with some friendly locals and basic tools to help you along, your garden tending begins. And from the minute you dig your first hole and plant your first seeds, you're well on your way to attracting your first piñata visitors. Then, depending on how you design your garden, additional species will be lured in from the wild to check out your handiwork. If they like what they see, these piñatas may even move in. And once they do, you get to create your own personally designed tag for them to wear, letting everyone know where they got their start. This tag will stay with the piñata wherever it may go. But your piñata parenting doesn't stop there. You'll also be able to name your new friend. Why, you can even deck out your colorful critters with all kinds of costumes and accessories. Now, if you want your piñatas to stick around, you'll have to give them a place to stay. And each of the over 60 species of piñata included in the game has their own personal housing preferences. Not only do these houses provide for a safe haven, they also provide for a private haven, where two friendly piñatas can, oh, see for yourself. Romancing piñatas will dance the night away, and they're not shy about showing off their moves. Now, as your piñata collection grows, you can choose which to collect and which to trade. You can even go off and visit a friend's garden. To help you enjoy these more social aspects of the game, you can hire helpers from the local village, leaving them to deal with the more mundane tasks of your daily routine. Still, life on Piñata Island is never all daisies and apple trees. When illness or danger threatens, you'll need to be the one who comes to the rescue. So if troublemaking ruffians or sour piñatas pay your garden a visit, it's up to you to decide how to deal with them. Do you scare these pests off as quickly as possible? Or come up with a more creative way to rein in the rowdy rascals? And even when the coast is clear of sinister sours and other perils, you'll have your work cut out for you. After all, each piñata resident has their own little quirks, and sometimes they won't get along so well with each other. Tempers will flare up every so often, and although it's a piñata's destiny to spill its candy, best that it doesn't happen in a scrap with a next-door neighbor. Still, whether life is peaceful or hectic, this is your world to explore and ultimately transform into whatever you want. So feel free to change anything, everything, if only to see what happens. Of course, there's no shortage of goals to achieve, contests to win, and social engagements to make on Pinata Island. But it's also just as much fun to sit back and watch life here do its thing. After all, the world of Viva Pinata is a living, breathing place full of opportunities and unforgettable characters. So come for a visit, it's great! I mean, I live here. What more reason do you need?